22. The Great Food Debate. Did you know that most of the processed foods sold in the United States contain some genetically modified GM ingredients? Most people don't realize how big a part GM foods play in our lives, and they wouldn't be happy to hear it. When scientists play with genes, unexpected things can happen to people and the environment. For example, one type of GM corn can cause people to become sick, so it was fed only to livestock. However, some of the corn ended up in dishes at restaurants, and almost 30 people reported reactions to it. GM crops can negatively affect the environment too. Scientists modified plants to be resistant to weed spray, so that farmers could spray their crops and kill only weeds. Some wild plants picked up this ability and became super weeds, which farmers are unable to stop from taking over their fields. GM crops that are toxic to crop-eating bugs can also kill non-target insects like butterflies. If GM crops are such a bad idea, why are 14 million farmers around the world growing them? The GM supporters claim that the environment benefits from GM crops. Take pest-resistant corn for example. Farmers who grow this won't have to spray their crops with pesticides, so fewer chemicals will end up in the soil. People can also benefit from GM crops. The Global Conference on Agricultural Research for Development says they are needed to feed the world's growing population. Drought-resistant corn could help feed the 925 million people. That go hungry every day. To summarize, GM crops do sometimes affect the environment and people in ways that scientists have not planned. However, GM crops may offer benefits that regular crops can't match. As the planet heats up, so does the debate over GM crops. Which side are you on?